the thing to understand la cosa que hay que entender sobre el Shark Tank es what it's done to venture lo que ha hecho al capital de riesgo. Así si es que una de las razones por las cuales hago el programa soy creyente que si eres inversionista 10% de tu cartera siempre debe mantenerse en negocios de capital de riesgo así opero antes tenía que buscar yo, yo mismo invertir en otras firmas de de capital de riesgo como inversor. Hoy vienen conmigo en Shark Tank. Que, mi argumento a ustedes es que hay una tremenda sinergia entre el caos de la televisión y la inversión en emprendedora. So the value of Shark Tank is the platform that continues to grow. The more people that watch it, the more successful the companies that get on it are. But now you can attributes that are present in 100% of the financings. So you should write these down. The entrepreneur was able to articulate the opportunity in 90 seconds or less. If you start dreaming up a business you want to go and pitch to investors, you better be able to explain it in a minute and a half or less. Number two. Every team, and the majority of people that have been financed on Shark Tank are teams, not single individuals. They were able to explain why they were the right team to execute the business plan. Now, when these two came together, all of a sudden, multiple sharks were interested in investing. But it's the last one that determines success or failure most of the time. And this is the one that puts a knife in so many hearts. 100% of the time, the companies that got financed knew their numbers. They understood every question asked of them about their business model. What's the break-even amount? What are the gross margins? What's the size of the market? How fast is it growing? You can actually watch this tape and see entrepreneurs that had multiple sharks going to war with each other to finance a deal completely recoil from it and let it walk out the door unfunded the minute they missed one en el momento que le faltaba una pregunta sobre sus números. Their attributes, and I, this is coming from my own personal anecdotal experience of investing in venture. What makes a great entrepreneur? An individual, a man or a woman who is willing to sacrifice balance in their lives for an extended period of time. Let me fight. There is no hanging out for picnics on Sunday. You're working all of the time because you're competing globally to build your business while you have an opportunity and you have the runway to do it. That's what it takes. So that's one attribute of a successful entrepreneur. And not everybody can do that. First, you have a bounty of understanding and knowledge. But the one pursuit they have la, that they're la, trying to capitalize on, they know everything about. They're myopically focused Mio, on the opportunity. They study it 29 hours a day. Hours al día. I look at it because what your real role is at the beginning of your launch is your sales. You have to understand everything about the benefit of the product you're trying to bring to market or the service so that your potential customers understand that you know more than they do and they should give you money for what you know. That matters. People ask me all the time, do you have to be a nice guy? The answer is no. I invest in lots of different things. 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 But they understand that the drive they have, tenacity is one thing, irritation is another. I don't mind confidence, but you've got to find the right balance. Aggressive personalities make great entrepreneurs. Enhancement or productivity technology has been geometrically decreasing. And so what it requires you to do as an entrepreneur is to take a portion of your time every day, and I'm 
telling my companies that I want everybody there to take 10% of their working hours and go research their markets, what their competitors are doing, and above all, look at new technologies to enhance their productivity. You would think 10% would be a lot of your day, but it turns out it's not, because sometimes you get so locked in being myopic about what you're doing with your own business that you're not watching what others are doing. So I'm que no está viendo lo que los otros están haciendo. Hablemos de algunos temas en común que quiero que piensen en el futuro si se convierte en alguien, en alguien que administre una empresa. Su activo principal en una empresa son sus empleados. Como un líder tendrás que aprender cómo crear una cultura de tal manera que las personas que trabajan en tu compañía comprendan esa cultura y quieran trabajar para ella. Las ventas importan más allá de cualquier cosa en la compañía. Puedes resolver cualquier sales. problema si estás creciendo sales, en ventas. Recuerden esto. Y les garantizo con una certeza del 100% que es verdad, todos son Everybody. reemplazables. Todo el mundo. Absolutamente Everybody. todo. Thank you very gracias. Much for your time muchas today. gracias por su tiempo el día de hoy.